up YouTube? It's Nova Picker here. Just want to shoot this quick, quick, quick little video. Um, about some sales updates. I said I was going to do it on the uh, 25th, but I changed my mind. So go ahead and do it now. Uh, I got about seven sales I want to show you guys. Um, so let's jump right into it, man. Um, first thing was this North Face uh, fleece. It's a little girl's fleece. I got it for. Uh, I think it was like $3.99 and uh, it was in good condition man, it was reversible and everything um, I sold it for $28 for free shipping um, it's going to go on the regional A-Box now this is when I first started out as you can tell because my my uh, pictures are blurry I would never put a picture up like that now um, but it do get a little better as you'll see you know I'm saying I got the little North Face there so I think this didn't really sell off of the pictures it probably sold off of the name you know what i'm saying so north face is a good brand to pick up you know what i'm saying of course if you see that go ahead and pick that up make sure it ain't got no holes or no stains or nothing like that in it um so yeah that's that one um this next one is a calm i try to say this name comb des garçons men's blue long sleeve french cuff shirt uh yeah Oh, story about this one. I actually sold this to a lady who actually resells these shirts for $145. I didn't find out until um, I kind of um, clicked on her name and did some looking at her listings. And it's like, oh, okay, she sells shirts too. So I, I tracked the shirt, and once it got back to her, like a day later, she relisted it and added some couplings with it, and she put it up for $145. But uh, she bought it from me for uh, $30. I um, you see this brand? Make sure you pick it up. I knew it was high price because I researched it, but you know what I'm saying. Like I said, I was just starting out, so I put it, I put it, I put it on auction, and it went for uh, thirty dollars. Um, I mean, it's cool that she want to sell my. I mean, resell it. It's all good. I'm doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? If she want to buy them for me for thirty dollars, I'll sell them all day. It's a nice little blue shirt. You know what I'm saying? Um, had a little stitching right there on the flip cuff. Had one little flaw in it, a um, couple little flaws. Had three. That was unique right there. That's why I got it. Um, had little holes right there, some holes right there. You know, of course, I disclose all that in the listing. And uh, like I said, I paid three dollars and forty nine cent for that at my local Goodwill, and she bought it for thirty dollars, and she paid three ninety nine for shipping. Yep. So remember this name right here, man. I'm not going to try to say it, but just remember it. If you see it, pick it up. It does sell for a high amount. Like I said, she's selling her shirts for $145. I'm actually watching a shirt, this shirt that she relisted. I should have pulled it up for you guys. But um, I'm watching this shirt that she re I mean, that, that uh, she put back up. Next thing I saw, I sold two Stafford uh, Signature Country Club shirts. I lotted them together. Um... It went for a best offer of about, uh, I think it was like 25 Um Those shirts are practically brand new, you know. Um, so I just lot them together because they were the same size and, you know what I'm saying, so it probably came from the same person. I got both of these for $349, so what, uh, $350, $350 is $7. Spent $7 on these shirts and uh, sold them for 25 These shirts look brand new. My, as you can see, my pictures are starting to get a little better. Um, I bought a hanging mannequin, uh, so my uh, later pictures you'll see how much better my pictures got. Um, it was free shipping, so I think I shipped this in a medium flat rate box or something. Um, probably could have shipped it in something else, but like I said, I'm just starting out, so still learning. And it's fun, man. It's easy, man. Anybody can do this, man. It's real easy. It takes a lot of. I mean, any. It depends on what what your goals are and what your business plan is, but. I mean, you can do this too. Anybody can do it, man. Uh, show you a little bit of the listing. Yeah, pretty good. I don't like the size of that font that I was using back then, a month ago. I've only been doing this for like, uh, I started November 1st. Uh, next shirt, I sold a Mark Anthony shirt. It was new with tags. Um, it said $60 on it. I took a best offer of 15 because it wasn't moving. I didn't know what I was doing. My pictures looked like garbage to me. So I just sold it. You know, 
God offered it, so I took it. Yep, pretty nice shirt, man. I'm just getting my feet wet, man. This is this thing is real fun, man. I'm addicted to going to the Goodwill. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta you gotta manage your money and your time when you're doing stuff like this. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, like I said, the guy paid 15. He paid for the shipping. You know what I'm saying? So I made a little profit on that. I only paid three dollars and forty nine cent for this shirt. You know what I'm saying? So that was good. Uh, next. All right, now you can see my picture starting to get better because I got a hanging mannequin. If you don't have a hanging mannequin, man, I suggest that you get one or some type of mannequin. Manny the mannequin, whatever everybody else got, I don't know. But this is the Brook Brothers sport coat that I actually listed last night on the 17th and it sold like, uh, what time is it? So 8.33 a.m. I mean, I listed this probably like at 10 o'clock last night and I went to bed, woke up, and I sold it. You know what I'm saying? And that is based off of the name. And it's also based off, I went in all my listings and I um I changed my keywords around, but uh we'll talk more about that later. Uh so this sports coat right here cost me five ninety nine and I sold it for fifty dollars and fifty eight cents. I was running a sale, I had it at fifty nine. I was running a sale fifteen percent off, so this person bought it for fifty uh dollars and fifty eight cent free shipping. It'll probably go in a uh medium flat rate. And I'll ship that off and show you these pictures real quick. See, my, my picture game has stepped up too, man. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to show the people, you know what I'm saying? The product, get real close up on the pictures so they can see the fabric, you know, because people want to know what it looks like, what it will look like on them. So, you know what I'm saying? I try to put that visual in their mind, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not actually here to touch and feel the uh, item. So, um, just trying to get better pictures. Um... Uh, and I'm trying to order me a screen so my my um, pictures will be a lot better. The white background, I can get rid of the shadow and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I think my pictures are a lot better from when I first started out. So I think that is helping with my sales. I'm just you see, I flipped it back up. I'm just doing, just trying to do some different things, man, and differentiate myself from other sellers. Um, it's 100% camel hair. That's another reason it probably sold. Uh, it also had a defect in it, which I which I put in the listing, so they know about it. And uh, yeah, 100% camera here, man. It's not hard at all, people. It's not hard at all, man. Anybody can do it, man. Just put your mind to it. Um, what's this? Next, I stole. I sold uh, Stafford Sports Great Coat. Uh, it was gray tweed, whatever shooting jacket. This is a nice jacket, man. Had a little chin strap right here. You can actually flip this collar up, and this buttons on the other side. It's like a hunting jacket. It has the elbow patches, um, you know what I'm saying? It has some elbow patches on it as well. Um, I paid $5.99 for this as well. And you see the elbow patches there. And it also has uh, leather buttons. Stafford, 100% virgin wool. See the little chin strap there. You can actually uh, flip the collar up and then button it up. So it's a nice little jacket, man. I mean, sports coat, but you see the leather button there. And uh, I think my pictures will get a lot better. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just laying it across the bed or on the floor or anything like that. It's, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But um, I think you got a higher probability of your item selling if you, you know what I'm saying, have like a little mannequin. And I didn't buy that mannequin. A lady gave it to me for like, you know what I'm saying, $5 or something at a thrift store. So actually, you go to these thrift stores, man. Ask these pe no people that, you know what I'm saying? Not like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. You go to these regular mom and pop thrift stores. Ask them, do they want to sell one of those mannequins? You know what I'm saying? They might let it go for, you know what I'm saying, cheap. And uh, let's see. All right, last thing. So this Alexander London, Alexandre London blazer. Solid maybe blue. Nice blazer, man. It has gold buttons on it. I actually sold this to someone who resells as well. Um, I don't know if they're going to resell this one. I didn't look back on their uh, store. But it doesn't matter. Um, I took, I paid five ninety nine for this. I sold this one for fifty five. Yeah, I sold this for fifty five. Guy paid eleven ninety nine. Guy or gal paid eleven ninety nine for shipping. Um, like I said, I paid five ninety nine for it, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's too easy to do this, man. This is a nice blazer. It was kind of small. What size was this? This was a, a thirty eight regular. You know what I mean? It was kind of small, so I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But it, it went pretty quick. I think I only had that up probably about 10 days. 
and it went. You know what I'm saying? So that was real good. Uh, like I said, it had the gold buttons on it. That's a real good brand. If you see that brand, pick it up. <coughs> yeah. Nice little gold button. Try to showcase, you know what I'm saying, the features of the jacket or whatever item you're selling. You try to showcase that. Um, that's a nice little picture right there. You know what I'm saying? And Tice's buyers will say, wow, you know what I'm saying? Let me get that. That's all I'm trying to do, man. Trying to learn and trying to make this money, man. Um, and that's it. That's that's my sales update so far. I know I'm going to have a lot more. Uh, I just wanted to get this out real quick before I got a couple of friends that were asking me some stuff offline that I know personally. Like, you know, how you doing? I know you're doing this now, so how you doing? So I told them I'll shoot a quick video, you know what I'm saying? They can check it out. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Um, little tip I want to give you guys, man. Let me go back to this shirt. Um, I got off the phone with eBay today, they, you know. And it was telling me about, I had somebody look at my listings to try to help me out a little bit just to see what they had to say about it. And they was telling me, you know what I'm saying, to get more visibility. You know, the, the basic stuff they tell you, you want to be top rated seller and all that. So the lady was telling me how to um, how to structure my title and stuff, which I kind of know all this stuff already because I've been selling on eBay before. But I was just selling other stuff around the house. But um, you want to make sure you got your most relevant keywords in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what people are looking for. Like this name right here. People look for this name. So you want to put that in the front. Um, and the next thing I want to put in the front. It should have been uh, this shirt. I sold this anyway. But it should have been. I don't want to say that name. That's why I keep saying this. But this and then shirt. And then she also told me put the size towards towards the front. She says Cassini or eBay likes that. So I'm going to start doing that for now on. Cause I just throw my sizes in there anyway. I try to make sure you take up all the space, all the characters they give you. Make sure you put putting keywords in there, man. And the uh, last tip I want to give you guys, man. Um, also put keywords uh, on your photos. So when you're saving your photos, you take these same keywords all in lowercase and you put hyphens in between it. Like for this picture, I will save it as this and I'll put a hyphen in there. Put a hyphen right there. Boom. And then the next picture, I would use these three and then the next picture I would use these three now that takes a little bit of time if you want to do that but it helps you it helps your visibility and it helps Cassini see these keywords I mean you're not keyword spamming you're just naming your pictures and stuff like that so you know just want to give out those quick uh, tips real quick um if you're new to my channel just go ahead and uh like and subscribe comment below uh follow me on my journey man because I'm about to I'm about to crush eBay man it's too easy um, trying to tell people, you know what I'm saying, how to do this, but they don't want to listen to me, people in my area. But um, I'm about to crush it. I can feel it, man. So uh, this has been Nova Picker, man. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up, email, you know what I'm saying, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'll holler at y'all next time.